Thanks, <laughs> Camp, this, uh, this afternoon and early morning. Yeah. And look, that's why they're going right now. Their facility is under construction, but they are going to California in about six weeks for training Irvine, camp. Irvine, California. It's going to be nice out there yeah. on the West Coast. Not as hot as it is here, Jim. I would think <laughs> not, but still, California is pretty hot, isn't it? Yeah, but not this hot. No, not yeah. this hot. You're right. By the we Pacific have, Ocean. Mm -hmm. We have some lower humidity right now. It's not a dramatic change. But we in the weather department, when we see dew points in the 60s this time of year, we say, okay, yeah, things are going to be a little more comfortable. Now we are tracking some rain on WDSU first warning radar. Showers that are moving very, very slowly. Let's zoom in and use our street level mapping. Over Homa, that looks to be a collapsing thunderstorm. Which way are these showers moving? They are drifting. Grand Isle, you had a thunderstorm close to you, but that one appears to be drifting away. We're at 91 in Bogalusa, 90 in Hammond, but look at Homa. 75, the current temperature. That's a rain-cooled 75. Current conditions right now with a live look at the Crescent City Connection. 91, our current temperature officially at Lewis Armstrong International. The dew point at 70, significantly lower than it was 24 hours ago, thanks to that east to northeasterly wind. Anytime the wind is from the north, whether it's northwest, north, northeast, usually means drier air, and that's the case for us right now. We had a cold front. It's now basically a stationary front right along the coastline, and that's why the showers that are popping up, well, they're focused right along what's left of that frontal system. That front probably stays in place again tomorrow, so especially on the North Shore, the humidity is going to be manageable tomorrow. To the tropics we go, tropic watch, if you will. Big area of cloudiness really associated with a trough at the upper levels, but the National Hurricane Center is watching this area because they say as we get to the end of the week and the weekend, it's a small chance for development as it gets off the Carolina coast, but it's moving away from us. What we're going to be watching is moisture in the Caribbean that'll be moving up by the weekend, increasing our chance for rain. Intertropical convergence zone, three tropical waves of note, but the National Hurricane Center does not expect development in the next 48 hours. Let's go hour by hour and show you the rest of this evening. 8 o'clock tonight, showers should be wrapping up with the lower humidity, especially on the North Shore. It should be pretty comfortable for a walk around the block after dinner. Temperatures in the low 80s in most locations. Tomorrow morning, 60s for the North Shore. You gotta love that. 68 in Bogalusa, 71 in Slidell. Low humidity or lower humidity staying in place through tomorrow. If we see any rain tomorrow, like today, it'll be focused on what's left of that front. Chance for rain officially only at about 20%, although North Shore, your chance for rain less than 10%. All right, what's gonna happen this weekend? Tropical moisture gonna be moving up toward us. Where exactly? Is the center of this moisture going to be? Well, that's a good question. Hurricane Center leading us to believe that there's a possibility that maybe this could develop into something, but the models are trending this moisture away from Louisiana. But still, Sunday, good chance for rain for us. Monday, very good chance for rain for us too. And then on Tuesday, still, we're keeping the chance for rain on the high side. However, remember, that's four or five, six days out. Models Again, kind of trending a lot of that moisture more toward Texas. We'll be watching it, but as of right now, it looks like things are going to start to get wet for us beginning on Sunday. Showers ending tonight becoming clear, not as muggy. Morning temperatures close to 70 on the North Shore. And then tomorrow, a few isolated thunderstorms, mainly south of I-10. Chance for rain at 10% Friday, 20% Saturday. Oh, but look at those temperatures. 96 on Friday, 96 again Saturday. Then the chance for rain going up significantly, obviously, by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's your WDSU first warning for you. All right, Jim, thank you for that.